welcome back and place value. It's about our last, just wrapping up a few things. So on here, we know about our place value by now. Pretty confident. So with that in mind, I've given you three simple ones, or reasonable ones to, to see if you can solve. The purple ones are a little bit mixed up. Mr. B didn't know where to put them. He's got 17, 10s, and six ones, or whatever it may be. So with that in mind, I'll just demonstrate one, and then I'll get you to pause the video and see if you can solve them. So I'll do one. Let's, um, I'll make one up. Yeah, that's cool. I shouldn't be writing on this, should I? I'll tell you, I'm going to do this little example over this side here. So, what I'm going to do, we'll make up something. Um, 13, 13, tens, 9, hundreds, We'll make it three tens and seventeen ones. Okay, now with that in mind, obviously I need to start with the biggest one. So we've got three tens. So three tens would be equal to thirty. Nine hundreds. Nine hundred. Do we have seventeen ones? 17. Now, what I need to do is put them around in the right order. So the 100 should be over here, the 10 should be here. The ones are fine, but there's 17 ones. So let's start with this 900. So the 900, I'll put 900, then we bring the 30 over here, and we've got the 17. So what I could do now is move, because this is 17 ones, and we know 10. Ones are equal to 10, which is one of those ones that, those rods that go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can bring that over. So let's change that. Take that one, add that 10 onto here. Okay. So now, we've got 900 plus 40 plus 7. So I put that there, 947. Genius. All right. This is your mission. Once I put you back here, stop the, put it on pause, and see if you can solve those ones. This is where he's just plugs in his computers. Think we're sorted. Just in time, is that even turned on? I hope so, I think it's charging up. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So up here, we're back. Into action. Can I use this? Yes, I can. I'm just going to bring this over a little bit this way. So you can see that and myself writing. So four tens, three ones, the answer, what did you get? Four tens. And again, a smart person might have something like this already written and put them in order. It makes it a little bit easier. So four tens and three ones would look like this. 43. Should move them down this way, almost in, in proper order. 43. I wonder if you can see that. Make it bigger. 43. 600s, 110, 8 ones. 600, 110, and 8 ones. Yes, yes. Next one, 500s, 19s, 6 ones. 500, 19s, and 6 ones. Hmm. Now, we're on to the tricky ones. Okay, so. The next step is you have to do a little bit of calculating. So 7s and 17s. So it's like 7 tens, so it'll be 70, plus 17 ones. So I'll move that 10 over to here, becomes 80, that becomes 7, so the answer would be 87. 
Prova. How'd you go with that one? Did you get that one? Six hundreds, two ones, eight tens. So six hundreds looks pretty good at this stage. Six hundred, but the ones is the wrong way around with the tens. So eight tens would be in that one column and two ones. Six hundred and eighty two. Even Miss Les getting confused. Thirteen hundreds. What? 179 ones. So I think you need to start thinking how many tens can fit into that without going over. So let's take, um, let's take that 9 off and just replace it with a 0 at this stage. That means 170 divided by 10 would give you that answer. So at the moment we have 13 hundreds. So let's just put them into this column here. This, this is the hundreds column. Then we have no tens, so let's put zero at the moment. 179 ones. So I'm going to move the 17 over here. So 17 is over here. But we know we can only have one in each place value. So which means I need to bring these one, which is representing 100, added onto here, which now says 13 plus one is 14. However, we can't have two digits in the one place value. So I then have to bring it over to the thousands columns. So the one comes over here. So if you've got the answer of 1,479, you nail it. Fantastic. Now this last one. How do we go with this one? 2,076 ones, 17, 900. What would you do first off? You'd probably put them in order. That's the first thing I'll do too. So if I've got 2,000, 76 ones over here. So it's almost like I've got these little columns, the face value, 76 ones. Oh, I'm writing on, oh, Miss Rebecca's gonna, oh no. 900s, be over here. That's my hundreds column. And then seven tens. So now what's gonna happen is I, these look alright, but I have 76 ones. So I have to move 7 tens, which is 70, over here. So if I move that plus 7, so 7 plus 7 is 14, multiply that by 10, because we're moving it 1 to the left, which we multiply to greater than the 1s by 10. So 7 plus 7 is 14, times 10 would be 140. So, that means that I now, it's basically saying 140. But, that's not really correct, is it? So I'm just double checking while I'm doing this right. 76 ones, I've brought seven over here. Seven plus seven is 14. I now need to leave that four here. Bring the one over this way. So the one jumps over here. It's like I'm exchanging 10 tens for a 100. So now, my 900, which is this one here, plus another 100, if I add that together, give me a 1,000. So again, I'm replacing this, so it'll equal 10, 10 hundreds. So I leave the zero here, and I move the one over here. It's 10 times bigger, going to your left. So it becomes two plus one, the answer would be three. So, did you get 3,046? If you did, good on you. Okay, the next part, I'll just bring this around here. I will get you to have a go at the crosswords, not this one, you see? This one here. So. Can you pause the video? There is a link to this sheet. I'll get you to have a go at doing this one. I'll do one for the start. This is a cross. So when it says one across, you're starting with one and you're going across. The next one will be four across. So you start, look for the number four and here it is, four across. 
Now it might run into five, that little five. That's okay, just continue that number. Um, and you've got six across. So six across is here. Down, so you start with one again, and you come down here. Two, two down, three, which is here, and five. See how you go with that. Pause the video, and you come back with your answers. We'll see how we went. Ooh, it does work. Haven't, it's been a while since I've used one of these. So, now that you're back, one across. One million, so one across. One, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, one million. 37,000, 1 million, so 37,800, that's right, so I need to put a zero, because there's no 100,000, 37,814, sweet, yeah, I'm actually going to go one down, this is 100, and 33,814. So how many digits do you think that would be? Looking at this, that might help you. You already knew it though, didn't you? Okay, so it says 133,000, 133,814. We're looking good so far. Number, let's go two down. Two down, which is here. Two down, 348,000. 348,000. Number, let's go six across, which is here. One million. Oh, must have known. One million. Put all these there. Now, when you go here, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but because normally you began one million, every third one you put one of these. However, take no notice because we've got a number coming down here. So in this case, crossword, you don't need to put them in. That's all commas. So let's go to five. Down, 9,602. 9,602, which leaves, is it three? Oh, we've got three, three down. 100,000. Hmm, I could use this. I could check it. 100,000. I might just go, there's my 100. I might do that, and then I can just copy it. 100,000. 100. Which leaves the last one, four across. We've only got a few gaps to fill in. What do you reckon? Four across, three million and forty-nine thousand. Three million, what? Four across, three million and forty-nine. So, something's gone wrong here. Three million and forty-nine thousand five hundred and six. That would be there, 506. So Mr. Lear has made a mistake somewhere. Where has he made that mistake? So he's going to have to come back. He's crossing here, so he's going to have to go back to number two. So number two says 384,000. What do you think Mr. Lear's done wrong? 384,000. So two down, 300. He's got it mixed up, hasn't he? 300, how do I write this out? 384, yours will be much better, 84. I don't know how to drive this thing. A rubber, eraser, too hard for Mr. Blair. So that's an eight, that's a four. That's all good, and four across would be three million and 49,560, yes. If you got that, you done well. Thanks for correcting Mr. Blair's mistake as well. Pause the video, have a break.
Okay, now that you're back, I'm not sure how to I'll just get rid of all this for a moment. Must be a better way than this. Probably doing it all wrong, am I? Yeah. Anyway, this activity is a tricky one. So it's a real challenge to do this one. So I'm going to pause the video. Have a look at it, pause the video, and we'll come back through these answers tomorrow. So yeah.